Okay. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Joyce. Max, now that David's not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much, but that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in this illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hope you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad, but she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce, even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max, I forget you're still teenage adults. Okay. This is an interesting little room of probably torture. Uh, those paintings are actually super cool on his little DVD um, collection there. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. <laughs> maybe that's somehow related to the- maybe that's what's killing the whales, is his poor taste. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everyone what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh yeah, that my is her. god. Whoa. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. What is this? Is this her like tripping out or what is- Exactly. What? That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Yeah, okay, that's right. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Yes. I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is like, if I was in a small room like this, it would be my ideal setup, absolutely. It's I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Dr. Bill is back, see? That's gotta be a Dr. Phil thing. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Oh, what is this? Prescription pills? I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. So, um, this is going to make me sound like really old and out of touch with things, but there's a lot of talk now about, um, like people in high school not so much going towards um like quote-unquote traditional drugs like weed and ecstasy and shrooms and all that kind of stuff but like a lot of prescription pill usage and a lot of them like steal them from their parents and like to me i'm kind of like that's really fucked up because you not only don't know how you're going to react a but b it's like your parents must realize that unless they're totally disconnected from this planet that all their pills are going missing and obviously they're not taking a shitload of time anyways i'm just ranting about it because i think it's weird nathan prescott all american teen oh yeah butts and boobs that's totally the title of this of this magazine oh man that dickhead stole one of my selfies Where's my face, though? That's the weird part. Okay, these are actually kind of cool. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Is that what that is? I mean, these are still... they look cool. These films all have a dark pattern. Ruby, you didn't find the okay, porn under the bed? Okay, there's definitely a door map around here. 
As soon as I walked in here, I was like, there's definitely porn under this bed. Holy shit. Not that I would know, That's Mom. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. So... A gift from... A gift from who? I've never bought a gun, but I actually didn't even think till now that people would have... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I didn't think people would have instruction manuals for guns. For some reason, that didn't even cross my mind. That that's like a thing. Because I'm in Canada and we don't have guns. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. <laughs> it's just harsh. Okay, this is, this is where it's going to get probably bizarre, right? Let's get into his computer Let's here. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this Of course, this party. no password. Bad sign. Who doesn't put a password on their computers? Let's be honest. I don't care if it's your own computer. Or not. Okay, to Victoria Chase. Uh, hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious potty favors. He's probably talking about prescription drugs. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're gonna have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point. Right? Nathan, you're such a cool dude, man. You're such a cool dude. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. Oh, this and is the why vortex. Kate will get justice. Kate's gone wild. And I think... Okay, so when we first heard about the video, I thought it was going to be this big, huge deal. It ended up being her just, like, kind of making out with a bunch of people, right? And, uh... I'm, like, it's kind of weird. Oh, man. That I... That Sean that's, Prescott like, as big of a deal as it is. Real problem. Okay, so Sean Prescott, Nate. I know this has been a stressful week, for, and your mother and I are here to talk if you need... If need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Panastates is being developed. I know being a press god is a burden. I'll guide you into this room step by step as... Or I'll guide you into this room. What? That's weird. Step by step, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Dad of the year. Definitely dad of the year. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. So, Christine, Tudo Bem from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged to all my coworkers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Maybe she doesn't know about how influential her family can be. Uh, even though I can't always check my mail or cell phone, please, 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 please send me pictures, new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one of those... Into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. <laughs> You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove. Uh, sending out good thoughts. Better write back or I'll have Jaguar shipped to your dorm. Chris. Okay, so there's cool people in yes, this family. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Okay, yeah. So here's another way that people get into this shit. Is they, uh... They, they order things online. Like, it's super easy to do now. It's weird. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Principal Wells to Nathan. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while, uh, while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you to be uh, distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. What a dick. I hate this principal a ton. Maybe don't hate, but I just strongly dislike him. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. 
Okay, are we missing anything in here? I can rewind if he shows up, but oh, scratch I can't marks. count on it. What? What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Yeah, Baker man, you're totally- I sound like an old- I gotta stop talking like how I'm talking because I sound like an old man right now. It's really bad. Those dang kids and their little internet drugs. It is. It's- I'm- I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm really dating myself. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Wait, whose phone is this? Now I have Nathan's phone, so oh, I can his show phone. it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, I, I, I really thought that he would be sitting right outside here. Let's motor. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and... Creepy. Clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're Nothing. such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Let's kick his ass. If that's an option, I'm totally down. Max. I got this. Oh, uh, Warren. All Get right. the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> Boom. <gasps> you are so fucking dead. <sighs> Whoa, fuck. He's got Get a gun on him? Me, bro. <sighs> <sighs> no, uh, definitely going to stop Warren. Warren, stop it. Come on. Oh, oh my head. Get the, somebody get the gun. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You, oh, this is not good. You, you're all dead. Oh shit. Let's go. Oh shit. Now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He oh, owns you. Really? Picks up the gun and says, My Even dad is on his way. definitely deserved a beating. We should try to be better than that. Okay, I was gonna see if we could talk to him here, but I guess not. I know that was probably like, why would I want to go talk to him? You're right, I should just leave. Duh. Uh, Righteous 18, I stopped him because Damn. I was worried that, that was if it intense. got worse, he would shoot us. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. <laughs> or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes. You are. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty alpha. Yes, you are feeling pretty alpha. Great, thank you for your help. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Good point. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Somebody made a good reference. It was, uh... Big Bad Wolf 700 saying, it's Joffrey all over again, just a vicious cunt. I actually thought the exact same thing when we were talking about Nathan like half an hour ago. And I it was like, it's such a... It's like almost identical, but I think Joffrey was more 
like literally evil, whereas um, Nathan is more just like an entitled God. piece of shit. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. <laughs> I'm looking you got forward that to right. the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. I'm sure this is gonna be easy. This guy's totally level-headed and trustworthy. I don't see any reason why this isn't gonna go less than completely successful. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. Stop the Pan Estates. Yeah, I mean, the I mean, if the world ends, there might not be anything. This is where my nightmare point. started. Oh, look at the lighthouse. That's cool. Here's a photo of the whale, maybe? Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. Could you imagine seeing that in real life? No worries, sign. Like, the sheer in- like, I've never seen a whale. I know people have gone, like, whale watching and stuff, but the sheer enormity of an animal like that is, to me, like, unfathomable. It's something I can't even consider right now. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Yeah, good thing. Behold, Frank's beer garden. I feel like I could really benefit from some Witcher senses right now. To see if there's anything that I'm missing. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Well, maybe he's okay, but at the same time, the fact that he's not eating is usually a bad sign, so... Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... Doesn't waste any time. I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Lady balls, that's a new one. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? I mean... That's fine, if you want. You already did. 
Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? <laughs> How about a blade serious. up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Whoa. Step the fuck back Whoa, now! Whoa, everybody, chill. Everybody, chill. Work oh! Oh! No, you didn't do this. You fucking killed my dog! Oh, this is not good. Oh, oh shit. Oh, God. Oh, this is bad. That just happened really quickly. Yeah, we're gonna- we're gonna have to... Tell me we can... Can we get out of this? Oh, oh this no. is- this is bad. Chloe... I just shot a man... and his dog. Don't make a country song joke Frank right now. Powers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know. Yeah, let me fix but we that. we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. Or before I can't rewind. Numbers 33 is saying his policy on the game is to have Let's Pompidou live sorry, to the end, even if I'm everyone sorry. else dies. You know what? I might even agree with you in some situations. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. I'm not and cool with this. Only I can change it. Can we go inside while he's down? No. Okay. But we, she did get that code, right? It looked like she grabbed that thing. We're going back. All right. Let's try that again. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact <laughs> that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Shelby, by the way, greatest hashtag, save Pompadou 2K15. Let's get that going. Uh, first of all, get rid of the gun. Or you know what, just be careful. Just think about that, just be care- No, watch your mouth. <laughs> Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Yeah, just be cool. We'll skip all the repeat stuff, but... No fight, close the door, no wet. Close the door, because the dog coming out is what got us to shoot the dog. And then... Him going after us got us to shoot him. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That figures. Just please do it. Oh, thank you. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? <laughs> okay. Um, hey, this is... We can apologize. I don't think we could do that before. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. 
Both of you are giving me a headache. No, no deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me and then pulled the trigger. Uh, yeah, but you scared me. To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun with both hands like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. Yeah, we've He's noticed. Done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Uh... I did say, I just said that we were scared of his dog. So now if I come up and say, yeah, Pompadou's cute. Let's just say something about dog rescue. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right. It was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like See, he's like got slaves. the soft side. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. I just don't like Maybe that we're we patronizing him. Rescuing Rachel now? Like, he's got to see through that. Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Uh... Let's confront him about the photo. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. I think we might be working Please. this here. We really need your client list. Come on, Frank. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. That's because we just reverse saved his life. That Thank was you. okay. That worked. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. Now let's frickin' bail. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Let's go. Before he changes his mind and sends his dog again. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Hey, where Rachel oh. must have seen something good in him. I wonder, hold on, we should probably check the photos here. There's the windmill. I don't even know if that's a windmill to be on. Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't know if that's a windmill. I'm not seeing the bars here. Could be like, there could be the, the big leg thing somewhere, maybe. It's worth taking a look around. I don't see a windmill. Anywhere. Not seeing any type of wildlife. Uh, Baker's asking me if I believe in the possibility of time travel. I mean... I want to say... Okay, my mind is telling me no. But my heart... Is telling me that'd be fucking awesome. 